I don't know if you've heard, but running a household and raising children is the easiest job there is. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Because if you're doing this, you know that you've got to do the dishes, you've got to clean, you've got laundry, you've got cooking. You've probably got your children nagging you all day. You don't have adult interaction. You have to do this for 24 hours a day. If your son or daughter gets up in the middle of the night, if you have little children, then you typically are the one getting up with them. You do this seven days a week. You don't get time off. There's no retirement plan. There's no insurance, no sick leave, and no tuition reimbursement. That's not always how women's roles in society were viewed. And today, we're going to look at Test 3, Section 1, Number 32 and 33. My name is Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center. Number 32 reads, It can be inferred by the authors of Passage 1 that believe that running a household and raising children what? And it's paired with number 33. So we're going to go to the line references. I've got them marked out already. What it says in the beginning, they, and if you get the context, they is talking about women, are property owners yet have no direct influence or representation. So it's talking about women not being able to vote, not being able to run for public office. That has nothing to do with raising children. Answer choice A is gone for that question. We're going to go on to answer choice B. If the exclusion from public employments decreed against women leads to a greater sum of mutual happiness for the two sexes, then this becomes a law that all societies have been compelled to acknowledge and sanction. So here what we get, the author of this is Talleyrand, he's a French diplomat, um, and others. What they're saying is that women are not legally allowed to work, and that makes everyone happy, so sorry women, you cannot work. So this is definitely a foreign idea by today's standards, it seems men are choosing women's happiness. But that's not talking about taking care of children and running a household. Answer choice B is not relevant to the question. We need to know what about raising a household, uh, raising children and running a household. Answer choice C, is it not apparent, meaning obvious, that they're delicate constitutions? So women are built delicately, physically, their peaceful inclinations, so naturally they're more peaceful than men is what he's saying. And many duties of motherhood set them apart from the strenuous habits and onerous duties. So who's got strenuous habits? That's men, they're going to work. Onerous duties, men's work is like a burden. And summon them, summon the women to gentle occupations and the cares of the home. So basically what it's saying is that Women are built delicately, they're naturally peaceful, and so they're better suited for gentle work, caring of the home. So apparently Talleyrand has not met any women in 2021. Answer choice C looks like it's the correct answer. Here it is talking about taking care of children. Let's go to number 32 are rewarding for men as well as women. Well, that's one thing you probably will not find Talleyrand saying at that time, is that men find great reward in raising children and running a household. No, he would say, that's a woman's job. That's what women are built for. Answer is B, yield less value for society than do roles performed by men. Now, that is something that he might say. It's not addressed in the passage. If it's not addressed in the passage, then... You cannot choose that answer choice. Answer choice C, entail very few activities that are difficult or unpleasant. That looks like it's our correct answer. Why? We'll revisit that line. It says gentle occupations and care of the home. So if it's gentle work, it doesn't sound like it's very difficult or unpleasant. Answer choice D, require skills similar to those needed to run a country or business. It's not talking about running country or business. It's not saying that men and women's jobs are similar. It's saying that they're different. Men's jobs are hard. Men, women's jobs are easy is basically what that's saying. 
And it seems like this is something that men would say to women during this time period in order to appease them. Well, your job's easy anyway. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficult with, with paired questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.